Yo guys, what's up? I'm Skello and today I will show you how you can add mod only stuff to your GTA copy. So first what you want to do is you want to go over to my Discord, Skello's Unity Hub. Link is in the description. And you want to go to this channel called mod only stuff and download this player login. It's very important that you take this one because this one has been modified for uh, what's it called, GTA copies. And yeah, you just want to import it to your project. And then once it's in your project, what you want to do is you want to make an empty game object. Call it something like Play Fab Manager. You can either put it in here or put it in Photon Handler, doesn't matter. Then you want to put the script on it. And then right here where it says Play Fab ID and Catalog Name. You want to go over to your Play Fab. I have mine pulled up right here. So what you want to do. In PlayFab ID, you want to put this right here. That's your PlayFab ID, those five and uh, no, those six numbers and letters. You want to put them in here. And then catalog name. To get your catalog name, what you want to do is you want to go to Economy, Catalogs, Legacy, and then get this one. For me, it's just DLC, but for you, it can be something different. Just put it in DLC. And now I'm going to show you some stuff. So, special items is basically like things that get, uh, get enabled when you uh, when given the player. And disable items is basically disables when given the player. So, I'm going to show you uh, real quick how to do that, how to use these things. So, for example, I'm going to just make like a mod uh, mod vent area in the city right here. So, let's just put this for example, we have our mod vents over here, then I'll just put my cube right here, put like this, rotate, make it flat, and then scale it up. So like this, so no one can get in here, only moderators, okay. Now, what we're gonna do? We are going to rename it from cube to let's just say mod vents barricade. And what we're going to do, we're gonna copy this entire name. Then we're gonna go to our playfab manager and drag this one into disable items. Now what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to your playfab. This time you wanna go into your category, then press new item. And then copy the name of the object, like Modvents Barrier. Copy it in item ID, display name, and item class. And then just save item. And that's done. And then for, for example, for the special items part, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a text right here. Let me just get 3D objects, legacy, text mesh, get it over here, change the font to this, and I'm gonna make it, uh, um, and I'm gonna make it say mod stuff loaded, and I'll just scale it just a bit small, not that small, and then get it on the board. Hold up, I think I need to rotate it, oh no. Just put it like this, and then like this, and then just put it on here. Yeah, just put it like this, and then mod stuff loaded. I'ma just cop yeah, copy it, and then I'ma paste it in here. This is going to be the name of the text. And then what you wanna do is you wanna disable this item. Then go to your playfab manager, drag it into special items. And then you want to come over here to your playfab again. And then make another new item. Do item ID, display name and item class. Save. And you're done. So all you need to do is give this to your Unity player. And let me just do this real quick. Okay, as you can see right here. I've given myself the mod vents barricade and the mod stuff loaded text. And if we go into play mode now, the barricade in city should disappear. 
right here this should disappear and the text over here should appear so yeah let's just test this real quick Oh yeah, now it's loaded. See, mod stuff loaded. And over here, hold up, city. And we can go in here. So yeah, that's the tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. We are very close to 300 uh, subscribers. Also, make sure to join our, my Discord. We're almost at 900 members. And my goal is to get to 1,000 members. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye.